Alright, hello everyone, welcome to another episode of HTHT, where the set is cheap and the talk is deep, but that's fake news, because as you can see, we got a new set right now. I'm your host, my name is John, and today we are joined by Gwen! Yay! Yes, y'all probably know her from uh, as a video producer for Eat Books, the YouTube channel, which houses popular segments like uh, Taste Testers and uh, Ebook Vlogs and uh, the such. But I think y'all will know her more ha- having seen her around in uh, the smartlocal.com's uh, YouTube videos, such as the one we co-start in, which is uh, My Cafe Crush. Cafe Crush, Yeah. Sense. Twenty cents. Eh, I'm a twenty cents girl. Yeah, she was my twenty cents girl. <laughs> That's all she's worth. Twenty cents. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, which garnered uh one hundred and twenty three thousand views. Wow, one two three k. That just sounds like a nice number. You have uh, close to 7,000 followers on Instagram and growing, which makes you one of those uh, influencer types that wear not enough clothes on Instagram. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, today we'll find out what goes on behind all that Instagram photos, Instagram stories. Welcome to the show, Gwen. Do you like to HDHD? HDHD, not like in front of cameras. <laughs> Don't worry, the cameras are behind you, so that is great! <laughs> Okay, this is weird. Because normally when I HTHD, it's like mm. with friends. You know when you go and drink? You go and drink. I, I like where this is going because <laughs> we have to go and drink. Uh, and today we have a uh, Rio oh. cocktail, which is a uh, grape and brandy flavored cocktail. Cider. Rio, get in on this. Okay. And we have my all-time favorite, which is Cronenberg Blanc. Which one you prefer? Blanc or Rio? Actually, I prefer Blanc. You just want you say cider. Okay, I want the Blanc. Okay, fine. But, but this, this looks you. cool. So I'm yeah, it does. Okay, I'm just going to try Yeah, I'm going to just move this, this out of the way. This is not going to make me high, right? Uh, if it does, <laughs> it's scared. for content. Okay, 3.8. Uh, it should be fine. Shit. Mmm, smell that delicious smell. ASMR. <laughs> we should have done it in front of the... The... the mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to try to do it in front of the mic. Since everybody seems to be doing ASMR these days, listen, listen carefully. <gasps> it's supposed to whisper. Do you hear that? Hear that. that was the bottle. <laughs> now it's kind of stuck, and I'm afraid to spill. Give me a moment. God damn it! He never opened it. <laughs> what a fail ASMR. All right. Okay, so okay, it smells good. Actually, okay, so finally, right, we have our cocktail open and our blanc open. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Oh, it's oh, quite good. You should try. Okay, then I want this. Okay, I have the blanc. Ah. <laughs> Kids these days. There was a sound of my arm. Popping. Okay, so, uh. Before you get completely high and uh, collapse, we have a few questions today we're going to ask you because we HDHD lah, huh? Then you feel, feel like talking, feel, feel like swearing, want to burp, want to fart, do what <laughs> you normally do. <laughs> Dig your nose, put on Serious? the table. Okay, Don't okay. do that last one. But yeah, okay? okay? So we're here just being all candid, man. So uh, first thing we're going to talk about is uh, the first thing that we mentioned also in your introduction, which is uh, my cafe crush. <laughs> Our love story. <laughs> Gross, I Why? Okay, Why is it no. gross? No, no, no. Why is it gross? Come, come, come. No, okay, okay. It's not gross, but it's uh-huh. cringy. Cringe because? Because like, I don't know. It's it's like l- romantic and me doesn't go well together. Why? I don't know. Wait, okay, okay. So so what? You're not you're not a romantic. Or... I think maybe because like in the in that uh, series, right? I was mm. more of like the uh, very gentle, very like <laughs> sweet loving girl. Okay. But in real life, I don't think I'm like that. You're not, eh? No, I'm not. I You know me, right, John? I'm yeah, like I that. Know, eh? Gangster. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> She's a gangster. No, I'm not a gangster. I'm just very like tolo. You know tolo? Yeah, tolo. Yeah, like, tolo, like, not like the gentle. Not demure, kind. basically. I, not I, I demure. can be demure, but. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> she can be demure if she needs to be. Yeah. But does she want to be? No. No. <laughs> Yeah, so one of the highlights is like, just now we were discussing off camera, but one of the highlights is that she'll dig the pizza and then she'll Hey, no! Okay, no, no, no. Then, I, then I, tell me your pizza story. <laughs> la. Tell the audience your pizza story. Actually, it wasn't me. I don't know who started the whole thing, right? Uh. But it was another colleague of mine. Uh. Jiao Wei. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram at Jehu. Uh, uh, <laughs> it was her, not me. Then, but I'm the one who likes earwax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. She'll take her earwax and then she'll do a taste no, test thing. I, <laughs> I was just like... Because I, I used to put a lot of, like baby lotion inside my ear. <laughs> so my like naturally my earwax will smell like baby lotion. Wait, hold up. Why would you put baby lotion in oh, your ear? Oh, since yeah, I've been doing that. Legit. Like my parents take my ear and clean it with uh, Johnson baby. Johnson's lotion. and Johnson's baby lotion. Yeah, like yeah. does it actually 
what does what does it do? Just cleanse it out and make it smell good. Legit, that's why I, I have a habit of like smelling it after I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not 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 all the time, not all the time, but like <laughs> most most of the time. I would say ninety nine point nine nine percent of the time now because in front of camera she disclaim. She <laughs> would be proud of it. She'd be like, oh my god, it smells like oh, heavenly. No. <laughs> okay lah, maybe ninety nine percent of the time. Okay, so we come back to the to my cafe crush lah. Huh? Mm-hmm. So like. It is, I would say, one of the bigger production shoots that you've been on uh, work-wise, right? Yeah. You've never... Okay, maybe maybe, maybe just a bit of background. Prior to, to doing stuff for Ibo with TSL, mm-hmm. right? What were you, like, doing? Is it in TSL? Like, before before TSL. Before, before you came TSL, with TSL. Yeah. I was just, like, a normal retail assistant. Yeah, but how do you, like, get into this whole thing, you know? I mean, you applied for an internship that makes oh, you yeah. have to yeah. edit videos mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. like that, right? So how do you get into this? Okay, as in, uh, I was interested in media, uh. but I'm not too sure, like, which companies to join. Then I heard, as in, okay, to be honest, I don't know what I was TSL. Uh-huh. But I, I was like, how much is the smart local? I never watched, like, TSL. Right, right, right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but I was very truthful about it. Okay. Like, I, I really didn't know much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, uh, I, other than TSL, I actually applied for other media companies. Right. But, yeah, some are not well-known and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, then, TSL was the only one who replied me. Oh, yeah, so damn. I was like, okay, since I got this chance, if I get in, then I get in. If I never, then okay, no, then I'll just go and study. Right, yeah, right. So, so that, wait, okay, so essentially you took a, like a gap year, gap semester yeah, kind of thing? After poly. Right, mm. okay, which poly were you from again? The Masik Poly. Yeah, <laughs> I was okay. Joyce. So the wretched people, where, the, where all they are from. Hey! <laughs> okay. okay, so we come back to My Cafe Crush, which is a production stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it something in line with what you were expecting when you joined TSL? No. <laughs> no really, yeah. No, really not. What were you expecting? No, is it, like, okay, I, I how wanted, how is it different from your expectation? No, is it I wanted to be a, just a video producer. Right, right. Video editing. Right. And then the next moment, like this whole like production came in and they said, like, oh do you want to <laughs> Oh you you look like you can be the female lead. And I was ah. like ah. <laughs> I remember it was Julian and SJ. <laughs> I was just walking to the kitchen to get like yeah. uh water and stuff. They're yeah. Like, Hey, Graham, Graham, come here, come here. Then I was like, what, 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 what? Then they say, you want to be in this uh, series? Then they just scan through my face and like, hey, you fit the whole female role, eh. Then after they informed me, they were like, now we need to find a guy. They say, oh, John Lee looks good. I was like, oh, shit, I, I, John. I, I, I remember I had to audition for the role. Huh? I had Are to go serious? there and be like, uh, oh, pretend, uh, okay. then Julian would be like, oh, pretend uh, you need to take this thing from the table, uh, but then uh, you awkwardly don't know how to take. Huh? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> so obviously the the female selection process is a lot more lax than the male. Mm-hmm. I guess so. Process. Okay, okay. So the shooting experience, right, right, is something that's a little bit foreign to you because you're just expecting it, to do. Sorry, 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 sorry. First one has been out. <laughs> I, okay, but my I, turn. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I talk a lot when I dream. Yeah, it's okay, man. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to read off the script here because uh, I, we, have, we have drawn some... I mean, help everyone understand okay. a little bit more about what we did for the Cafe Crush. So mm-hmm. the shooting experience, right, about my Cafe Crush. Uh, will something like that have worked for you in real life? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is love dead? You, you, as in, you will say yes? I mean, I don't know. I've never ah. been approached like that before. I, I, I don't think so. Like if a girl that looks like Gwen came up to me with, uh, with the whole Cafe Crush thing... Not great lah. Like saying like, like dentist, uh, do you need dentist? Yeah, I'll be, it'll be quite cool. Uh, and then we'll discuss like uh, paper towns. And then if I'm into blockchain. <laughs> okay, can I, wait, can I say something? Yeah. The whole books uh, scene, right? Yeah. My friends, like those close friends laugh at me. What? You never read books. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know. We all know. That's why I say it has to be a girl that looks like Gwen and not actually Gwen. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, so it wouldn't work on you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Why? Okay, as in, I wouldn't say like totally, but... Uh-huh. High chance it won't. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm not that kind that like believe in this kind of thing. Like of first encounter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't. I, I'm more like the, I need to know this person. Like I'm the one who scan through this person's profile or more like wait, this wait, person. You mean stalk the profile first? More like maybe I happen to see this person before. Say, oh, not bad. Catches my eye. You okay. Know? Then I'm like, ah, okay. I'm <laughs> right one. But I don't think that kind of scenario actually happens very often in real life. In real life. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, but uh, I mean, drawing, drawing, drawing from this again, okay, because it is, after all, a romantic uh, setting for for the for the video. Mm-hmm. Do you not enjoy romantic dramas then? No. No. I know. Completely. No, legit, not. Zero. Okay, one, five percent. Wait, why? Legit. Like, okay, oh. it, is, it, is it because, like like what you mentioned, is it because it's unrealistic? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really, really. To I me, thought, to me. I thought some stuff could be pretty cool. Maybe that's why I'm very Because I'm not a romantic kind of person. Like, romance genre is like 
the last few in my list. Uh huh. I prefer horror. <laughs> That, that one I know. That you know, one right? I know. I that think, one I know. I told you before. She's such a weirdo. <laughs> Legit, I like horror. Ho- horror. Horror. <laughs> horror. Horror. She like horror. Horror or thriller. Mm. Yeah. I'm not more of like the romance kind of person. So what if what if you end up liking someone, right? Mm-hmm. And then this person, you discover slowly, this person is a hopeless romantic must like... Ah... Uh. Slow music, wind blow your hair in slow mo kind. Then you all run across a few of the flowers holding hands. Suddenly you're in a tr- you're in a sundress with a light color, and then there's this ukulele sound playing in the background. <laughs> I don't know why I cannot imagine. <laughs> why ah? Uh? I, I don't know. No, as in if it happens, then it happens, law. Right. I, I won't like like halfway. He hold my hand and start running like at the seaside, and then I'll be like, oi. <laughs> 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 that kind of thing. I won't lah. If he's like romantic, then like, oh, okay, lor. okay What can I do? Okay, so I guess like the cafe crush thing was something that will never have happened for you in real life lah. If it happened. If yeah. someone, if someone did that to you, like for example, yeah, if, if that actually happened, you know, you decided to be kind, but she's not kind. So uh-huh. if you decided to be kind and lend that 20 cents, and then like suddenly like it unfolds and then you all talk about paper towns and then you scramble to ask your friends because you don't read paper towns. <laughs> were you like, were you like, oh my god, please ask me. Can you, ah, please, no, do it. please ask me. Can you do it? Can you do it? <laughs> hey, I was exactly like that eh, in the studio. It, can I just say it to the people who have not seen it, right? The please ask me out thing, right? Uh-huh. Was one of the longest things. Yeah. Yeah, before we could perfect it. Please try. <clears throat> please ask me out. Please ask me out. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> was like, what was it inside? Uh? It was like SJ or SJ and Pamela. Yeah, mm. the assist, uh, the production team. Yeah. They were like, okay, uh, stand close to the mic and then um, say, please ask me out in a more like, you really want him to ask you out and blah, blah, blah. Then they keep saying like, imagine John really wants it. Then I'm like, uh, <laughs> please ask me out. <laughs> then they keep, can, no, 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 the breathing cannot, cannot. Yeah, it was like one of the longest shoot, like the voice uh, what's that called? Voiceovers. Yeah, yeah, voiceovers. Voiceover sessions. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So I guess uh, cafe crush is out the window for you lah. Yep. Okay lah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next thing uh, I think is a is a big aspect of your life, which I think a lot of people also know lah. This one, but but maybe you can tell us a little bit more about your work with like dogs and animals. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So what 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 is that all about? Firstly. Okay. As in, I think some people uh misunderstood that I'm working as a vet. Right. Because there are people who like actually did like. Uh, direct message me and stuff on Instagram ah. then they yeah. say like oh my dog has this uh, issues then they send me pictures of their dog skin and stuff yeah. then I'll be like uh, to be honest I, I don't know lah because I'm not <laughs> a vet yeah, yeah. Does, she look, does she look like a doctor yeah, to you yeah I, I thought <laughs> maybe because like I always post about dogs and people assume okay. that it's a vet yeah. Right, right, right. But yeah, I actually work in a dog daycare center and mm-hmm. it's also a grooming center. La. So uh it's just basically taking care of dogs, bathing them, feeding them and stuff. Yeah. So, so, wait, do you have actually have any, I don't know, dealings with, like, say, animal health? No. Or is it just purely grooming? No, yeah. Uh, I, I don't do the grooming. Right, My, right. Uh, the groomer certified ones, they, uh-huh. they do it. I'm more of, like, the back-end one, like, bathing them, feeding right. them and stuff. So, just play with the dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, Damn. like, like That's this. not work. <laughs> that is work. <laughs> no, it's not. But this is why I, I wouldn't, like, leave that job. Because... To me, right, it's so much better than working with humans sometimes. Right, you, right. You think about it. Uh, like, it's I, just, of course, I know as a dog owner, yeah. right? Like, my dog is always my friend. Mm. No matter how I scold her or mm. like, she's stupid. Then I'm like, stupid! <laughs> like, don't bite that. Then she'll be like, mm. after that, she's still my friend. Mm. Like, if you tell your friend like, don't bite that! And your friend be like, what the fuck's wrong with yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> like, they won't like, like come yeah. and talk back at you. Yeah, like, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, so okay. So uh, now we know what what it's all about. You're you're, you're helping out with some uh, pet shel- shelter. Is it a shelter or it's is it a, a shop? Shelter. It's a shop. It's yeah. a shop. Mm. So it's a for profit business, lah. Yeah. So why 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 aside from the from the from the better than humans thing, right? Mm-hmm. Are you doing this? I think because I really love animals a lot. Like mm. in general. Okay, if I were to ask you, what's your favorite animal? Ah, wow, well, this is tough. Right. This give me your very, okay. Very maybe I give tough. it a, make it easier for you. Your top mm. two favorite animals, so it's easier to say two. Not you don't need to rank that. them. You just give me your top two favorite animals. Okay, maybe um, um, pandas. Okay, okay because pandas. they're cute or because they extinct. Uh, uh, sorry, they are they endangered? The, they were endangered. I think they kind of got out of the endangered. Yeah. Um, uh, that, that now home. it's like Maori. Yeah, yeah, it correct, used to correct. be ta endangered. Mm, now correct, way endangered. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> 
Hey, legit, I was a big fan of like pandas. Like, I learned a lot about them. Giant pandas or red pandas? Uh, giant Giant pandas, pandas. okay. Yeah. Then I also went on live at 6.30 a.m. to watch... Is it, I, I woke up at 6.30 a.m. to watch the live... The arrival the birth, of... Is it, no, no, the oh. arrival of the two pandas who came over, yeah, from China to Singapore. Oh, that was some time back. Yeah, yeah I, I woke up early and my mom just like, why you wake up so early? <laughs> I said, no, the pandas are coming. <laughs> so I, I just like put my YouTube, like the channel there, yeah. and, uh, the, the video, and then just watch oh like, for God. two, three hours. Oh yeah. my God, you're so fanatic about animals. <laughs> hey. I never knew. Oh, I never knew. <laughs> I always thought you only fanatic about Psy and Yoex. Hey, I, I'm a big fan of like wildlife, animals right. in general. Right, right. Okay, if, mm. if let's say you had to do uh, a, a wildlife kind of related job, you know, oh, would, would that be dream. something that interests you? Yeah, really, what's the dream? dream? Okay, this is the reason why I joined TSL also, or huh? a media company in general, because we... I wanted to do... That means you join ebook, but we eat animal. No, no, no. As <laughs> in, I didn't know how to get an ebook. As, in, okay. I, I, as long as I get to learn how to edit videos. Okay. Yeah, back then I had like a dream of um, doing like documentaries on wildlife. Mm. Yeah, so my dream is to like travel la, and then we go to like Africa, India to like mm-hmm. take videos of them and then edit my own um, documentaries. Yeah, this is why I needed a background on like editing okay. that skills. Okay, what do you study in school? Retail management. Reti- so it's completely it's different. Very, yeah, so this is just an interest you mm-hmm. picked up. Yeah. Okay, so documentarian for yeah. wildlife. Mm-hmm. Hey, actually, we have quite similar goals. Eh? Yeah. yeah, I want to be a wildlife photographer, but like hey, hey. A, a wildlife journalist in that, mm-hmm. in that sense. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't mind working with like documentarians and stuff like that. And that is why I also got like investments and stuff like that to try mm-hmm. to maybe go overseas and shoot mm-hmm. wildlife and stuff like that. Damn, you're deeper than I thought. Okay, I guess I'm going out with my crush. <laughs> Ayo, the one, the one. You can take the, hey. you can take the other flight. <laughs> okay, so a love of animals. Okay, so mm. if be- besides pandas though, what else are you like, you know, super into or, or is there no, all animals the same to yeah, you? Yeah, actually all animals are the same. I'm just... What, okay. what about, what about, okay, because I, I after I, I have a few, like I would say, scientist friends, I can't find a better mm. word for it. Mm. So there's a huge distinction between like land animal and maybe like marine animals, okay. you know, so... Uh, is there oh a difference? <laughs> it, has begun. it has Grand begun. One. No, but you think about it, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, so will you be more partial to like the animals that are maybe in the forest or the animals in a particular habitat or animals, okay. uh, domestic animals okay. or marine animals? Yeah, if you think about it, you know. Okay. Which um, is more up your alley? Birds? I wouldn't say uh, marine because I can't really swim. Right. So I cannot do, I cannot like see myself in the sea. I'll probably like start puking and all for seasick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, um, but I do, I, as in, I still read up about marine uh, animals. Right, la, right. Because uh, since young, then it's just like, I can't see myself in that, that whole uh, marine thing. That yet. environment. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe more of like land, that kind of you know, Steve Irwin? Yeah, he yeah. used to oh. do that kind of, like, crocodiles. Right. Yeah, I, I envision myself doing that kind of. Okay. Thing. Yeah. So, okay. So, if let's say, uh, what what kind of act- active steps are you planning to do to go to go for this kind? Look for, I don't know, do your own safaris mm-hmm. or find people to go with on safaris mm-hmm. or media companies? I don't know. What's the plan? Is there any plan? Eh, there's no, like, specific plan that I have. Yeah. Like, plan, ah, but more of, like, I, I want to go on a solo trip. I'll mm. go. I'll join those like uh wildlife certain like found. What's that called? Um, you know, found. I think so. It, what's the word? Foundations. Right. For there's a black jaguar, white tiger foundation. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, okay. I want to join those like mini foundation first right, to right. know more about those animals first. Uh. So as in, you jo- want to join as a participant or you want to join as part of their their team? I th- depends on whether they want to take me as their team. Right. But I think they, they are more of like, uh, they accept volunteers. Ah, yeah. okay. So volunteers mm-hmm. and then maybe you can follow them on maybe like certain expeditions mm. and cool beans. I'm going to take that from, uh, uh, take that from your, from your book, man. and Learn Yay. from you. Okay, cool. Next time if we, uh, if I go bird watching, maybe I'll show you. <laughs> bird watching? Hey, bird is also quite interesting, Is one, it right? where? Like Singapore? Yeah, crunchy oh. marshes. Okay, but I'm a bit, Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I know she she you were milk in the sun, is it? No, no. I, I, I like I like I like. Senior. No, I, I just I just feel like I, I've not learned a lot about birds in general. Right. So I cannot um As in bird watching is just just one of the things oh, I, okay, I just okay. say. I think I, I think Singapore's wildlife is a little bit more diverse but harder yeah, to catch. That's true. So yep. Okay, next next thing, which next thing which also uh comes in line with uh your 
social justice and your personal causes. <laughs> Producer says, Gwen feels strongly for fighting for women's rights and oh, helping the women who have yes. gone through abusive situations. Mm -hmm. Why do you do this? Why? Why not? As in, was there a trigger? Is that why you're... You're a man, that's why. No lah. I see, like, no, 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 no. I, I don't think there's anything inherently right or wrong, mm -hmm. you know, in, in wanting to fight for women's rights. Mm -hmm. But I want to know, like, what sparked this in you? Because if you ask the okay. lay person on the streets, mm -hmm. right, someone will probably say that, like, yeah, I'm all for women's rights. Mm -hmm. But I think that they may not feel as strongly as you do. Okay. Yeah, so why? Did okay. someone inspire you? Did someone trigger you? Did, mm -hmm. did what, what? Yeah. Okay, as in no one triggered me, right. no, uh, no one inspired me to do it, but right. it's more of like, um, okay, I, I think I told like Alastair, the producer once, that I really want to go India. Mm. Yeah, because India... Got is, elephants. Everyone knows. <laughs> oh, oh, everyone okay. knows that <laughs> India is known to have like one of the highest rape. Yeah, okay, but like, okay, okay, continue. Yeah, and it boils down to like female rights lah. Yes. Like, why is it that they... Um, back then they don't have like a strict law on it like a guy rapes a girl and the guy can be not sent to like prison right they can just go off like that yeah 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 and then actually until now they are not very strict about it right and I feel I feel very like how to say um I feel you feel hard, for it, these yeah, people? Yeah, I, I, I just cannot. Like, yeah. what if it's my child? Like, yeah, what if yeah. it's my daughter? I, I just cannot imagine those mom feeling that, feeling this way about their daughters. Mm. You know, people go there, they just feel so unsafe about staying there and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then another thing is also because I used to help out in Singapore. There's this, like, um, a center for abuse uh, wife. Oh, okay. And it's not just wives. Like, they bring along their child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were abused by their husband. Right. Yeah, so... um. So, <laughs> okay, no, I, 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 I'm not, I just, like, feel very, um, feel a lot for them, lah, like, yeah. um, okay, it's very hard to say. Just say it as, as it is, man, we got tissue boxes here, <laughs> if need be. I think I might need one. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, no. just say it as it is. Okay, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I was under a church, um, to help, to help these, like, people, lah, so, ah. back then, when I first entered into that centre, it was, like, it was not, clean as you thought it would be. It's just like a more like a rundown uh, different units of like rooms for the for different families to stay. Right, right. Just females alone. Yeah. Yeah. So when I when I went there to help like uh went like kind of renovate their entire place, right? It felt it's just very sad because the kids were as young as like one or two. Yeah, right, right. So they all came from abusive situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no, Gwen! Ah, no! We're gonna need a tissue box for okay, this! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the table. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no I, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's okay, man. I, 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 oh, I, love, no. I love that you're feeling so much sorry, about this. Sorry, sorry. No need to sorry. I think it's great. Tell, tell us more. Tell us more about what's that. I mean, I mean how do you even get into that situation in the first place? Oh, it was on, from, uh, it with a, church. Yeah, with your church. And then they said that. Uh, There'll be it's a it's a it's a like program where we you know try to help other people out there. So it's not just help. purely vi financial assistance. Yeah, it's not. It's more like you can, uh we do what we can to help lah. And then right. there were like different depart uh programs. There were one for like mental, uh, health and stuff. Then there's one that is a female uh, abuse females and stuff. So yeah, I went for the female one lah. And then that's when it really felt like, like. Oh, wow, I didn't know. I maybe because I have a family who it's not it's not it's perfect. It's yeah. like we are compared to them, right? They I just feel like why do people need to live like that? Why yeah. do guys need to, you know, abuse them and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even get kicked out of their own house. Ah, yeah. Because apparently the the male has the rights to get the housing and stuff. So it's more of like I feel a lot for them all. Mm. People some people do not know that there are people who, like, who are suffering like that. I, I do not know, man. This yeah, is yeah. Some, so, some, some like for me. I didn't know also. Yeah. I, I was thinking, huh, there's Singapore, there's a centre for it. Like, yeah. why would... Yeah, so only when I went there for a month, like I think five, three, four months, five, yeah. to help them, that's when I like, okay, it, you know, someone needs to do something about it. And yeah. I'm someone who reads a lot of news. So when I see news, like, not just uh, females in, like, uh, not just housewives or stuff, but you know, sometimes domestic mates and stuff. Yeah. They get abused. Yeah. It, something like that. Things like that affects me. Ah. Like mm. why 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 would people want to uh, 
Okay, example that one of the story I saw in Singapore was that this maid she was being like burned with iron, yeah, hot iron like thing on her skin, yeah, and then uh poured boiling water on her. You know, to me it's just like, like it's very inhumane. Yeah, yeah. why you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how it started. Okay, okay, I think that's great. <laughs> why am I crying? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. I didn't I didn't realize about this. I'm a, I'm a retract an earlier statement. I say Gwen not kind. She is kind. Sometimes okay, a little okay. bit one kind, but in generally she's quite oh, kind. No. Oh, I forgot the camera is here. <laughs> <laughs> you just used it as a mirror? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. okay. Okay, so like uh I mean you told us what you feel about it and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Uh I mean you mentioned that you wanted to help uh women in such situations. Mm-hmm. So why not this as a career instead? You know? Uh, I don't mind as a side career. I, I, right. don't ha- I don't need to be a career sometimes. Uh-huh. You, know, you can always like, when you have a free time, you just go and help. You know? I'm, th- this uh, is this not just for like, females in general. Like yeah. animals also. Shelters. What about when, men? When, when you're free. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not someone who just like, Female, 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 you're not a female. feminazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not I, a feminazi. Not, not, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. You need to tell this to people. Yeah, she's not a feminazi. <laughs> she's one kind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just maybe because I I have I'm a I'm a female myself. Right. That's why I feel more for mm. the females. I'm not I'm not saying like I hate guys or yeah, I hate yeah, men. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. If a guy needs help or stuff, right? Uh, men being abused and stuff, I will I'll gladly help as well. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Okay, crying tears for people you don't know. Hey. This, this is cool. <laughs> oh no. This is a side of Gwen I never knew existed. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't okay. need tissues anymore. Okay, man. <laughs> they have the whole box here. Just use them. Proudly sponsored by Butex. Hey. Uh, whoa! Oh. Explosions <laughs> and disaster. Okay. Proudly sponsored by Butex. Butex. <laughs> Get in on this. <laughs> we're going to take a short break now because okay. we're having a technical error. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh. Alright, we're back. Okay, so uh, we wasted some beer. Haha, <laughs> John. And uh, John. yeah, technical error, but we are back. Uh, perfect excuse because we kind of needed the the, the <laughs> camera to pause a bit. Anyway, so yeah, okay. So before we had that technical error, we were about to move on to the next question. The mm-hmm. next question is a little bit more about Gwen. Do you consider yourself an influencer? And uh, <laughs> Okay, answer that first. Yes or no? Ew. <laughs> Not like entirely yes, you know. Because there are like influencer, influencers out there who are like legit influencers. Okay. Well, how are you any, any less legit? Maybe because like, I wasn't back then until I started my first endorsed like uh, post. Mm-hmm. Like sponsored post. Then I realised that, you know Which like, was? First one ah, The mm-hmm. hair one. Okay. Yeah, which they like... That's how I know like, oh, so this is how people get paid on Instagram. You know? Right. The, and uh, this is how people... You know, where you see a post and like, oh, you are giving this special promo code to people. Give away. <laughs> Gwen 10. Yeah! <laughs> no la. Yeah, so that's when it started. Then I was like, oh, okay, cool. You're one of the big, big girls uh, no, now. No, not really. <laughs> it's just, okay la, it's, I have to admit, there's a, it's a platform for our side income. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, good, good, good. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and do you think it has affected your life in any way, like being uh, associated with this status or, yeah. you know, being this now? Of course, <laughs> yes. How, how, how? Like, okay, as in, firstly, I think people start... I knew when I posted my first ever post, right, people would start saying like, wow, influencer, <laughs> wow, you age influencer, oh, I cannot, I cannot think my friends, the, the things that your friends will say. Right, you know, right, like, right. You know how people will disturb you and yeah, stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so... I, I just had to like, I tell myself, okay, once I post this, people confirm this stuff, <laughs> just don't care, you know? Yeah. And then it just happened like, until people, I know that people will just stop disturbing and stuff. So have they stopped? Not really. Not but really. Then, <laughs> <laughs> people will be like, oh, uh, hey, I saw you on this video, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah. Okay, okay. You, you know, it just, okay, like, once in a while, it's fine. Okay. Mm. So it hasn't really affected your life, lah? Uh, Besides being really, a side income. Yeah, as in, yeah. Not, in a very negative way, I would say. Like, positively no. is that I... Uh, yeah, side income. Yeah, then one. you can gamble. <laughs> I don't know how to reply that. No! She is addicted to mahjong. I am. I think a lot of people know that because I always post it on my story. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I get messages like, 
oh uh, wow, every day you play, you're not tired of Mahjong, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Which is sponsored by the Mahjong set. Oh, I, I would love <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yep. okay. Mm-hmm. So that's that's pretty straightforward answer coming from yeah. you. Okay, la. so will you, will you be hoping to uh, grow this thing eventually? And then, you know, in grow future plans. As, I mean, your your Instagram has a plan, uh, as a, as a, as a, profitable yeah, yeah, I, I I, you know a that kind of thing yeah. yeah okay uh i wouldn't i wouldn't be a full-time like influencer right you get it i, I right, just right. don't see myself doing it like what i mentioned just now maybe the first time i said like my kind of dream job yes I, I'm, I'm more of that kind have you considered using your platform to uh yes, propel yes. yeah I, okay i think i told a lot of people before but yeah but i haven't seen anything yet uh, because besides I, the not, dogs you groom yeah because as in i think that's like uh one of my like first few steps yeah. yeah, people can see that, like, if they know that I love dogs so much, right, it shows mm. a lot about how, like, next time people see my post related, like, animal-related stuff, right, yeah. people can trust, like, or because she loves animals a lot, you know, uh, that kind of thing. I think it has, like, a step-by-step okay, thing. Okay, okay, mm. that's a cool, that's quite a concept, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so uh, building building up on the trust first before yeah, you Yeah, yeah. You cannot, like, just suddenly barge in and, like, wow, this person is uh, posting about going for this wildlife thing and stuff. And Damn. They don't know you. They don't know what you did in the past and stuff. Yeah, lor. So I, I even have a highlight on my Instagram for like dogs. Mm. Yeah, or, and like cats, animals in general. Yeah. yeah. So I just post whatever I can. Lor. Pro tip to all the wannabe influ- influencers <laughs> out there. Hey. Grow yourself as a certain, certain type of brand first before you go and take off your clothes. Pretty sure they hey, do just it. kidding. You take off your clothes. Uh, actually, if you take off your clothes on social media, that's also a hack already. <clears throat> but don't do that. <laughs> no, it, hey, the intro you said I was... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> just Ouch. kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, this ties, this ties in a little back to your to the whole influencer question, mm-hmm. okay? So, do you feel that there's a pressure on you, right? To look your best, especially on social media? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah? Do you of think course. it's a good thing? Eh, it's not a bad thing, I would say. I mean, uh-huh. good thing is that, okay, lor, I get to show, like, my other, the other side of me. Like, I'm, I can be... Uh, fake Gwen. Not fake. It's more like <laughs> I can be demure also, you know. Like some people don't know. Like I won't go and like dig my ear in front of like the Insta story and then like, ha. Huh? I challenge you like, to do <laughs> it. <laughs> Actually, I would like. Eh. I, I I don't mind one. You might just go viral. <laughs> you 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 get it like. I get it. I just maybe not lor. Like there are some posts that okay. Let's say like working with certain clients. Right. They wouldn't want you to post like. You know, uh, don't be weird. You know that kind of thing? <laughs> what if, what if it's a, a cotton buds brand? Oh, whoa. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> I'll do great. <laughs> Is it like, okay, no, mm. if, if let's say they... Uh, Okay, most of the time, the clients have their own, like, uh, content for us already. Yeah. You know, they want you to uh, follow this and that, this and that. Right, right, so right. So, most of the time, when I have to follow, it's definitely, like, uh, a part of me, but it's not, like doesn't really show my... Like, Not everything. Yeah, you get it. Right, I do, I do. I do understand that. Yeah. But, but do you think that this pressure, right, to, to, to look your best mm. on social media, has it, has it like affected you in any way or has it affected your uh, uh, your view on social media? Eh, I know some people get jaded by it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, do elaborate. 25 marks answer. <laughs> wow, 25 is a lot. Okay, 12. <laughs> uh, eh, as in like... How do I say it? I don't... Okay, I don't judge the influencers okay. and stuff. It's more like, if they want to portray themselves like that, then it's fine, no? Yeah. Okay, but for me, it's more like, uh, if I don't want to show, like, okay, for example, yes. a bra brand. Okay. They ask me, oh, please post, uh, we'll sponsor you this bra, this whole set of set, laundry, okay. and then you have to post it. Yeah. Then to me, it's like, I ha- normally I reply like, oh, uh, can I just like, review on it, but I won't like, show the bra, like, I won't show my boobs and stuff. Yeah. Because I, I don't I don't, you don't feel to, comfortable. Yeah, you get it. Right. So I But but does this stem from being a, a appearance thing? No, no, no. Or, it's okay. just it's more like I I might be I'm okay with like wearing this to the beach or whatever lah because it's meant to be like that there one. Yeah. But I won't post it on the so, on my social media and promote like oh uh like this has bra has like fifty percent off. I, just, I like how she says yeah, this, this, it, this because <laughs> Because that's what people do. <laughs> that's what people no, do. Okay, but I admire those people who can do it. Okay. It shows a lot about self-confidence also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe because I I know myself that I'm, la- I'm lacking or some. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it's, it's true lah. Some of my friends know that. 
Yeah, so it's straight away when I see a laundry brand, right? I'm like, oh, sorry. But do you think do you think something like this would send the the right message for people in future? I don't know. You know, there's always me? this debate about yeah, yeah. There's always this debate about oh. like uh being looking your best on social media, mm. but but the other the flip side of that people is like, oh, you know, you are teaching girls the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is social media now, eh? That's true. Who as in we can't we can't really like stop anyone from viewing Instagram on their own. You get it? Now, mm-hmm. as young as like 10 years, 12 years old, people mm. are already using Instagram. Yeah, so it's it's just how social media is, like, is right now. Right. I don't think I, I have the control or rights to say anything. Mm. Mm. Okay. Then do you think that it is, uh like, in given that this whole setting in mm. social media now, do you think it is fair that there is this pressure on influencers to, especially female influencers, I would mm-hmm. say, right? To always have to Look a certain look way. Great. Look great. Yeah. Oh, look. Uh, hmm. Because I believe everyone also... Ca- I mean, okay, I firmly, I'm, I'm of the belief that you always... You cannot be anything else but yourself. Okay. And then like, the self that we all put on social media sometimes is not your true self. Mm-hmm. So, do you think this kind of pressure on these influencers when they have become their own brand, right? Mm-hmm. is a fair thing. Or it's a good thing. Huh, actually, I can't answer that for... Them, right? You get mm. it. But for yourself? For myself? Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to see it as like a <laughs> full-time thing. But. So okay. to me, it's just, I do what I, I want. Mm. You, you get it. I, I, so, don't, I don't feel any, I don't feel much of a pressure, okay. to be honest. Because uh-huh. I'm just like, if a client wants me to post this, I post all, I, I don't, I don't, and I post what I want on my story. Right. I, don't, I don't have to like, uh, oh, uh, because of this, I because of like my image, I cannot post stuff like that. Besides the earwax thing lah. Yeah, I, I'm okay actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually like, you know, there are some nights where I, I like took a video on Instagram, right? Then I'll zoom in to like, <laughs> I'll send to my, like, uh, I'll send to my friends actually. <laughs> like, you know, on Instagram, I you still can, remember you. Which one, which one? You send your, the toilet <laughs> to, the shit lah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm like that. Okay, so, okay, wait, uh, it's time to like, clarify myself. <laughs> <laughs> to my close friends, right, they know we are all the same. We are very, like, crazy. We are very open. Like, people I'm close to. So, I would just send, like, not just me. They also will send to me. Mm. They're like, wow, loud sight. That kind of thing. Wow, oh, no, my shit all got seats. Eh. That's why I started taking pictures and sent to, like, Jasmine and Elaine from PSL. <laughs> I sent to them and they were like because they were waiting for me outside I think they probably think like why are taking so long then when, yeah. I, when I was having a bomb so I was like wow really very smelly and stuff <laughs> eh. then, then I'm that kind of person so I, I turned around eh, so I shit like got seats everywhere then I was like oh I thought it was cool then I went take a photo <laughs> then I sent to them on whatsapp I said hey my shit blah 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 then they like Wow, like ever since then, I think we became closer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> because they see my shit before and stuff. Then, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's not that's not okay. What what a concept. Maybe <laughs> I should try that with all my friends. But this is just me. You know, not ev- I'm not like this to everyone. I'm I'm like this to only people I'm close to. And then you speak about Instagram. Yeah. I'm not close to everyone on Instagram. Damn. Instagram is public. It's it's not private. Mm-mm. You know. Yeah. As much as okay, we might have the close fan functions and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't do that also. Ah. Yeah. So it's more like why would I want to put something that I'm I feel very personal about on my Instagram? Right. You get it? Right. Like am I gonna let all the six K people plus to go and see my the seats. <laughs> the seats in your <laughs> shit. You get it? And most the most I can write is take a blank picture of me and write the text out. <laughs> Guys, I shit the and my shit has like seats, you know, that kind of thing. I won't send to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we come back to the question about okay. about, about feeling pressure to look mm-hmm. good, right? So, so like sometimes I, I we come to realize that especially in, uh, the influencers, maybe some of the bigger ones, they also start to complain about how uh, oh uh, uh uh having to always having to look good in front of social mm-hmm. media. So this 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 draws the debate where people say they're like oh uh, why do you why do you complain about having to look good in front of social media when when you sort of put yourself there in the mm-hmm. first place because that is your branding all this time. Do you think it's fair for them to like? you know, have this kind of complaints? Or do you think the people the, the people that reply are right? Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. Firstly, I don't know who are the ones who complain. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, but I'm pretty sure you hear before this kind of situation. Actually, right? I never actually heard Where people, I never heard people really? like complaining that they have to look good all the time. That really? Kind of yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I, I, I feel that this is not news to me. I cannot I cannot oh. name drop any because I'm not too sure. Okay, but, okay, okay. but I'm quite sure this, this kind of debate has happened before whereby, oh, okay. whereby the personality is like, oh, you know, it's such a struggle sometimes. Mm-hmm. We have to always look good. Mm-hmm. And then people are like, but you decided to be a personality. You put yourself there yeah, in the first yeah, place, correct. you know? Mm-hmm. So this kind of debate, like, hypothetically, since you've not seen one before, mm-hmm. right? Do you think it's fair on the personality to have this kind of complaints? 
eh, I mean, they they started it themselves. So uh-huh. like, it's I feel like image wise, mm. you you have to create it yourself, law. Like right. if from the start you really you know you portray yourself as someone like that, like. Uh, gentle right. like oh pretty all the time yeah uh don't show bare face you know that kind of thing yeah yeah then then you i'm sorry uh, you have to <laughs> just just suck it out all. You so have, so you so you, you you are of the camp that is not fair la. it's not it's, like uh, like like you put yourself there in the first place yeah, yeah you shouldn't yeah. be complaining about it yeah i mean okay if you are complaining about it then then do something about it have a change oh? and there's nothing wrong what let's say one day you started posting about like uh your bare face right and then Okay lah, like what what's gonna happen? People shoot you down, say that you ugly and stuff. Then uh. okay lah, accept it lah. Like be- and most people unfollow you and stuff. What? Like what? It's your choice, you know. I I cannot. <laughs> I don't know Damn. because I've never actually seen that kind of scenarios before. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, on Instagram. Maybe because uh-huh. I I don't follow much of like the influencers, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know. The only like influencers I follow are from TSL. Damn. Like you, John. Oh. <laughs> she called me influencer, guys. She yeah, called me. It's me. It's me. me. It's me, guys. It's me. My crash Sorry, call I take back my words. Hey. <laughs> no backseas. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so so now now we move on to something uh something else, you know, mm-hmm. uh uh that is not necessarily related to social media, but at the, but at the same time more about you. Uh-huh. So I think because like we mentioned earlier, you know, we don't always portray our, our real full selves on social media. So what are some flaws about yourself, right, that you don't think people on social media see? Oh, okay. I think uh one thing is my how to say it? Okay. People always have this like, oh, Gwen is so um skinny all the time. Right. Uh, Gwen, like, she don't need to work out. Anna. But to right. be honest, right, there are times where I don't need to post because I just want people, to, like, I just want to go and work out myself. Uh-huh. Why, why is it that I... So wait, do you work out? Yeah, I do. What's I, your I, I, Okay, I either exercise. go running. Right. I go for classes. But... It's just stupid for me to always post about it. You right. It. I mean, once in a while, I'll post like, oh, uh, done with my two hours call training. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, without those, right, I cannot, my weight fluctuates a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I gain fast, I lose fast. So people always say like, wow, you're so skinny without like, you eat max every single time. <laughs> but you do eat max every yeah, single time. but because I, I tell myself like, once I work out, I feel better about myself. Yeah. Then I'll eat oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is what people always like think that oh shit, wow. Well, uh, maybe because I always take like upper body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But generally, my upper body is like really, really skinny. But, but honestly, bottom half right is very hard for me to. I have to maintain it. Right. Yeah. This is what people don't like. Don't uh don't know or don't uh, see. You get it. Okay. If you realize okay. on my social media, I always post upper half because I feel more confident upper half. Wow. Okay. I didn't notice this about yeah. you. Okay. Like uh maybe. People who I'm close with, they know. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. As in, they meet me more often. They, okay. they oh, know okay. that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not in your life okay, John, anymore. John, uh, John, John, <laughs> <laughs> often. Yeah, okay. So, like, like they know that uh, I need to run one. I mm. need to uh, maintain my my legs, my uh, the, my muscle near, near my, my like, bottom half. La. Yeah. Yeah, so, this is the thing, lo. I have to, I don't show much. Yeah. So, people get the misconception that, Oh, uh, she's very skinny. Eh, like. ah. So that's just the whole issue there. Right. Yeah. Okay, so besides besides I mean I mean this is all physical flaws, mm-hmm, which is mm-hmm. I think it's normal. Everybody has their own like for okay. example, I'm fat now. Uh what 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 besides physical flaws, you know, what other other stuff ah, that people okay, don't know about emotionally, you? I think. Uh-huh. I don't as much as I can okay, whenever I'm sad, right? Like maybe like a breakup, that kind of thing. Right. Oh no. Uh, okay. Korean heart <laughs> no, it's more like I don't I don't have to always post it like if let's say I cry and like do I need to post it on Instagram you know that kind of thing like, I, I don't show at most I put a song that relates to me a lot I post it on Instagram right like what thank you next yeah, 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 yeah. really, really legit, you're legit. one of those I, people I, I, I that likes thank you time. next uh, do you like thank you next leave in the comments below <laughs> I think hey, thank you nice next song. okay okay, okay I, I think, a, I think nice the lyrics song. are kind of okay, okay but the song for me is just a little ah, huh, okay. I think it's okay Okay, okay, but it's not the kind of as in I, I have songs that that can relate to me more. Okay. Yeah. So so whenever I post it, some people know that I'm sad. Uh-huh. Especially people who knows that what I'm going like through. Like that's the oh okay okay. So they will ask me, but generally like in public, people who I don't know, they follow me. Right. They're just like like see ah see the that 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 whole um, like just story. another story. Yeah, right? yeah, just another story. Mm-hmm. Or at most they just like oh are you okay that kind mm-hmm. of thing. You know some people who like will DM me that and stuff. So I think. I I appear as a very I would say like I appear as a very like um 
happy girl on Instagram. But. But sometimes, but. yeah, yeah. I say, I it's just very hard, like, cause people think that I'm like, oh, she very happy go lucky that kind yeah. of. Yeah. But it's just I do have like my my moments are like I'm sad and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I but I just don't show much. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh. So this segment, we have proven that Gwen is also human. <laughs> like John. John, like, y'all will see me as like someone who is crazy all the time. You get uh-huh. it? Yeah, but there are times where I feel like maybe very tired. Tired of school, tired of work, tired of... Uh, tired of everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know that, that... I do, I you, do understand John, that. come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's always office. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm not now, I'm here. <laughs> it's a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I think I think that helped us to understand a little bit more about you. So now I think uh, this question is something that that uh, I, I, I can relate to, but I think you can share a different perspective from mm-hmm. me. So you took a gap here. Oh, okay. I took a gap year. As people who take a gap year, okay. I, I, I think it's great. <laughs> mm-hmm. But enough about me. Why? Why did you take a gap year? Why? Well, okay. Because clearly, f- f- like first of all, right, I'm not interested in my diploma. Retail, Retail management. Retail management. Right. Yeah, I think everyone. So wait, wait, why, why, why do you get in the first place? My you dad. know, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> which which father will straight away say retail management? Usually, I it's like doctor, okay. lawyer, Indian chief, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, because my dad works a lot, like in the retail industry for very, very long, mm-hmm. like as a like manager and stuff, lah. So um, he, I think like I'm the first child. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm like, and what as a first child, you are going through everything first. Yes. Going to uni is also first. Going to poly is first. So like. When I had to choose my... Okay, since young, right, I never once cho- chose, like, my secondary school and stuff. It's oh. always my parents. Hey, same. Yeah, you get it? So, secondary school, <laughs> I want... I said, I said, oh, I, oh, I want the the school with the Sailor Moon outfit. It was like, oh, Grove Secondary. I, I thought it was cute, oh so I wanted God. it. So to my parents, <laughs> obviously they like... Because your choice, <laughs> obviously, because your choice was the uniform. <laughs> so, my parents said, uh, I think they were not, like fully... Like, they don't approve of it. Yeah. No? So, uh, I wanted girl school also, but I think my parents didn't want me to go to girl school. Yeah. Yeah, so I eventually they chose the schools for me. So wait, what second school do you Christ go? Church. It was Christ a Christian Church. school. I think my okay. parents wanted me to go to a Christian school. Okay. Yeah, so... um. Are you Christian? Yeah, I am. I What's am. your denomination? Uh, Anglican. Okay. okay. Yeah, so... Uh, when I graduated from secondary school, then when it comes to poly, I didn't have like a... Uh, how to say... Like, I know that my parents would choose for me. Right. Because it has all along been like that. You know? So I was okay with it until when I saw like the course courses that my parents really wrote down for me. Which were? Retail management and, and stuff and stuff. So I, I I said, can I just try VET? Uh-huh. Please? And no, uh-huh. there's, there are only two schools to offer, TP and SP. Yeah. So my parents were nice enough. They said, okay, poor, but you cannot get in. Because I was... I was that was my very cu- real. Yeah. No, no, but it's true, it's true. <laughs> okay. I said, but can try. Because it's always a, an appeal thing, right, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so they, they allowed me to put like first two choice as yeah. like vet. And yeah, I was very yeah. happy, but okay lah. Then the third one was video management. <laughs> and obviously, <laughs> me, I was like, please, <laughs> vet, send me in. And then, ta-da, when the results came out, right, I got into video management. <laughs> okay, I was like, why? Well, your parents, your parents were secretly like, yes. <laughs> yeah, my dad was very happy because they think that I can do it because I'm someone who like grew up as a very like outgoing person. Right. So, they thought that it was for me. Okay. You know? So I was like, okay, I just suck it out. I cannot like halfway through. So during my first year of poly, right, I appeal out. I wanted to uh, get still, out of that course getting, yeah. and try for vet. Yeah. Yeah, but my appeal failed. Yeah. So I suck, suck it out. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how do you do for your diploma? Uh, diploma, I didn't do that well. Two points. Right, right. Two points something. Is it because you didn't, uh, it was not for you? You feel the course wasn't for you? Yeah, or what? I did. First year, I did well. I did well because they said, they told me that First year, if you do well in poly, you can you have a higher chance of getting to another course. Oh. So I, I did my best. I got a three point something. Yeah. I was like, wow, I chose so hard. Right in there, I couldn't get in. <laughs> so from there onwards, year two, I, I went down. I had a low, as low as 1.9. Damn. It was so bad. Wow, I your, nearly retained. Your poly story is like my uni story. <laughs> I know. <Joy>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was so bad. Like, my parents, were, they were not like upset or what. They, yeah. just, they just know that. That's when they knew they cannot... Uh, Decide dictate everything. Yeah, yeah. You get it. Because it's not what they I want. Yeah. You know? I don't I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they understand and but I, I tell myself that eventually I still have to graduate from poly. Yeah. After poly I, I graduated with a two point something, got out of the ones. And then <laughs> um I told my parents that I want to earn money, firstly. Yeah. Earn my own money. Secondly, get uh learn something else. 
yeah, and I don't want to like stick with my just video yeah. management diploma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's when I went to work as a one year video assistant first. Yeah. To because I was an inter- intern. Wait, so it wasn't just a gap year? It's more than one year. Straight away, like in, immediately after I got my diploma. No, you say you want you you spent one year. Oh as yeah, a, yeah, yeah. It was, it was how long was your year. how long was your gap two? then? Two years. Yeah, okay. two years. Because one year in TSL. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, after one year of like video assistants, uh, video assistant, then after I went to TSL. Right. Yeah, ebook lah. Mm. Oh, okay. Will you recommend it to people that they take a gap year after each oh. phase of their student life? Mm, I, I would say don't rush or yeah. if you know what you want then just go ahead. Yeah. Do. Yeah. I, 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 there's nothing wrong taking a gap year. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I did again, Q, you know Q, right? She, yeah. She's the same age as me. Right. So there was, there was this point of time where we felt like Hey, we 23 already eh. Last year we had a talk. 23, we haven't go uni eh. How yeah. eh? You know that kind of thing. Then she was like we, we were kind of worried. Yeah, so eventually I went uni first because I thought yeah. like, I cannot delay longer. Yeah, so yeah, then I left Ibu and then I went to study. Right, mm. okay. I, you know, I totally agree with this about, about, about not thinking about a gap year as a waste of time yeah, or, right. or, or, or mm. you know, if, if people who feel for what they're studying for should just go for it full steam, people who mm. don't know can take their time to figure it out. Because I think like I mentioned before, like uh, there's this whole Singaporean route that everyone seems to be so yeah. caught up in and, and even make your question like, ah, oh, do you really have a good uni? Mm. How? You know, like, I think it's perfectly okay, yeah. you know, deciding on what you want to do and then uh, finding out stuff like that. Cool beans, cool beans. Recommend it to people who are unsure, right? Yep. Yep, okay. So now that you are in uni, which uni? RMIT. SIT. RMIT. Yeah. Right. Okay, I was, I was in SIM for a period as well. So we want to talk to you about uni. I you didn't know? know. <laughs> I thought you were in like NTU. Yeah, before that I went to oh, UL. okay, okay. So I, I, I'm one of those Singaporeans that I can say uh, I drop out of two universities because screw uni. Legend. Yeah, I'm a legend. <laughs> yeah, so okay, anyway, so coming back to uni life, right? Okay. So you're in, you're in a SIM RMIT, right? Mm-hmm. So why? Why do you decide to go to uni after that? Like after your gap discovery period, um, you mean more of like after I learn, I have a one year experience in media, and your one year experience in retail. Yeah, yeah. Then that's when I felt that because of media. Yeah. I thought because my course now is professional comms, uh-huh. so I'm doing like media related. Uh-huh. So that that's when I told myself, okay, why not? I'm I'm I have my experience. Yeah. When I can like go to uni and then mm. pursue my two years like degree course lah. Yeah. And get more knowledge on it and awesome. stuff. Awesome. Yeah. And so so you went to uni because you found yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S- okay. some, something like that. Yeah. Mm. And you were saying you were using it for? Uh, oh shit, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I used the, okay, I used my, I used the one year experience in ebook as an advantage. Right. Because now that I'm in professional comms, right, it actually helped me a bit. Like, maybe 50%. Ah. Like editing that uh editing wise and stuff, there are people who are in the course who do not know editing right like, like and stuff like, so they had to legit start from like scratch so from scratch but yeah. for me it's, I realized oh it's so much easier yeah yeah, yeah. yeah because so, you have practice yeah yeah oh so I I think it just flows very well okay yeah. oh my god okay so you definitely enjoy uni life of course. what else do you do in uni what else are you the <laughs> are you the go home club. Yeah, I uh, go home club, go, go out. club club. <laughs> Not, okay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, heartbreakers club. I, I I would say uni is very it's fun for me. Really. Okay. Yeah, as in, cause I'm I met really like n- great of people there. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Uh, male or female people? Female. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you asked that. I, I mean, we're just trying to find out more about you, Gwen. <laughs> Males. <laughs> okay, good. So I think uni uni is uni is doing you good. Yeah. How how long more before you graduate? Uh, I think. Next year, I'm graduating. Damn. Yeah. Okay, damn. That's fast, right? Very good. <laughs> okay, so uh, Gwen likes to solo travel, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, and why? Wait, are, are these questions from where, you, yourself? I pulled them out from my ass. Oh, no, okay. actually, uh, producer, producer <laughs> okay, came okay. out with a list. Yes, 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 yes. I, I love solo trips. Why? I don't know. Maybe a part of me, because I'm quite independent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, I... Okay, there are times where during my solo trip, I feel I do feel lonely. Right. I feel like okay, there's once this I went to Australia alone. I actually cried in the rain. That's so <laughs> drama. Was, yeah, it was so like, drama. It was like raining. It was, it was like really uh, like mama. pouring. No, 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 I didn't like like. <laughs> like it was <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, like I just like that and wipe and I just walk on the streets. Yeah, ah. first, first day it was pouring. All of a sudden, I there was no shelter. <laughs> 
I had no umbrella. <laughs> and then I saw everyone with umbrella. They just like, like, walk past me without like, asking like, do you want? You know, in Singapore, probably someone would just like, hey, come on, come on. Like, or you just like, run to somewhere. But I don't know why I landed in some open area that has like, the new shelter is so far away, you know? So I really had to like, I just slowly walk because there's no point running. I don't look uh. like a retard. So I started crying because I miss my parents. I miss my friends. Yeah. But then after I, I yeah, actually I called my, my family and I told like, my I cried like yeah. rain. <laughs> I was, like, I'm very lonely. <laughs> yeah. Then, how, how, long, how long was this trip? Uh, I went for three weeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, alone no? it, it just felt like it was over the new year. Ah. So I spent, I count down there myself like, I was okay. I met some friends there, mm. but they were like the kind of like drinking buddies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay. so we actually count down together. But I felt like oh, if only I'm with my friends. You know that kind of thing, like my closer. Friends. A little bit homesick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, you know Sydney, the Opera House there. Yeah. So they had like the yearly fireworks. Yeah, like, right? choo, 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 choo. yeah. So I just sat there and like look at the fireworks so, and I count down. And the worst thing is right, Australia was three hours earlier. Oh, <laughs> so, so no I wish my friends. Every year, then the children just like, oh, we are still waiting for the. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but then I, I went home and sleep already. <laughs> I went back to my like yeah, my room and sleep. Okay. Okay, wait, we got force. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. What countries? Okay, what besides Australia, what other countries have you have you solo traveled to? Been alone. Ah. Yeah. Actually not much. Just Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Sydney was the one that Sit in Sydney for three weeks. Mm. <laughs> Why Sydney? I think partially because I have relatives there. So I went to oh. visit them also. So you were not really alone, right? Not really alone, but I spent my time alone. Like, right. I go out and explore myself. I went to a wildlife park myself. You know Ooh, that kind of thing? Wildlife. Yeah, yeah. That was the reason why I wanted to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, that was a trip that people were like, wow, you very tatan, eh? You know that kind of thing? Mm. Well, you very daring. Then I was like, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just me or I like to travel myself. And yeah. then next week, I'm actually going Penang myself also. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, because my grandparents are there. For so, food, yeah. Oh, my grandparents. <laughs> I did visit my, oh, visit okay. my grandparents <laughs> and food also like, and stuff. Okay. Like, I don't mind going out alone. Right. I can just book a flight without asking anyone. Oh. Like, hey, you want to go? Like, huh? You don't go? I don't go. I, I'm not that kind. Right. You don't go? I go myself. You know that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. Wow. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm getting more and more as in like feeling, for, feeling more respect for you the, uh, after this talk. Is it? So yeah, before that you don't <laughs> You were just some XMM that don't know anything. Hey, legit. Yeah. Like, people always... Okay, maybe that's how Instagram works. <laughs> people Must don't be the see, XMM, people don't right? see like, me like that, you know? The non-XMM mm-hmm. side of you. Okay, we're going to open up another of this Rio stuff because this is so delicious. so good. It is really good. Yeah, so uh, Rio Classic. Uh, get in on this, obviously. We have something good going on here. It's like at least uh, 100k reach. Eh. Sorry, 1 million reach. Eh. <laughs> 1 million k really reach. Eh. <laughs> Rio... Classic cocktail. Blanc, we spilled that, so we're just putting it down. Yeah, but Blanc, get in on this. <laughs> okay, so we're moving on from uh, solo travel. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one is a little bit more in-depth about yourself also, lah, but this one is uh, your, your, your physiological self, your psychological okay, self. Okay. <laughs> Would you describe yourself as an emotional person, Gwen? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am, because firstly, I cry easily. <laughs> Evidently, mm-hmm. okay. If you're, you know, but only that's. That, I mean, I mean, I guess that's just one emotion, right? Like some kind of, I don't know, maybe not sadness per se. That was a little bit more empathy. Okay, yeah. As in, in general, I'm just very emotional. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm angry, I cry. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're angry, you cry. I, I, I cry easily. <laughs> <laughs> I tear easily also. Okay. Yeah, as in, uh, yeah, yeah. When I get angry, like if I fight my. My mom, yeah, or like quarrel with someone that I'm close to, yeah. Why not tearing all? Because I think because apart from me, like I love this person a lot. Like why, why, yeah. When I fight with someone like that, I'll, I just feel very like, Ugh, why? <laughs> yeah, I'll just <laughs> yeah. So in I, the I, I, I am no. <laughs> hey, not everything happens in the okay. ring. Yeah. So I think in general, I'm a very like emotional person. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Do you think this is a a good thing? It's not a bad thing, oh. I mean, it's... Do you like this about yourself? Yeah, yeah. I mean, mean, not in a public. <laughs> you, as in, like, okay, la. I'm not, like... 
it's just me. I, I okay. just have to accept it. Mm. Yeah. It's not like it's not like something you can train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I cry? Can I cry? <laughs> you know, you know? No, but some people really like, oh, I don't <gasps> cry, I don't cry, I don't cry, you know? I I mean yeah, lah, maybe yeah. Uh, sometimes I pinch myself, don't cry, don't cry. Don't <laughs> <like>. <laughs> wait, 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 where has that happened? When has that happened where you pinch yourself? Don't cry. In the cinema. <laughs> <Really>? yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I had to watch uh, More Than Blue, the recent movie. Oh, the, okay. I watched with Jess and Elaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a bet who cried first. <laughs> we treat the person coy and, and in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> then the three of us wanted to cry, but we were like, <laughs> like, pinch myself in one corner because it was a bit sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's when. Yeah, I know. Okay, so anger, uh, sadness, sadness, and everything. Angry. You feel it very strongly. Yeah, yeah, very, very. Okay, maybe that's why people think you're a happy-go-lucky person because I guess maybe you feel happiness strongly as well. Yeah, that's true. Okay, next is something that uh, pr- uh, our our stalker producer has fished out about you <laughs> that even I have never heard of. Huh? But apparently you have very strong opinions <coughs> about it. Sorry. <coughs> <laughs> what? Sleep paralysis. Ah, okay, okay. okay what? Okay, okay. What? Yeah, I, I don't even Do know where to know start. Where okay, I know Do what not- it is because okay. I've... I'm, I, I've watched uh, mm. nerdy YouTube videos about it, but okay. I don't even know where to start with this question. Producer says, talk about sleep paralysis with Gwen. Ah, okay, okay. Tell me more, <laughs> man. Tell me what you think because like, I think this is something that uh, I, I don't even know what to, what to say. Wow, okay. okay it feels okay, very okay. pseudo-science to me, but tell me your side of the story. I think for... Okay, I, I don't even know where to start also. Mm. You know, it's just a very like broad... Is it a personal the, experience? Yeah, but I... Oh, okay, wait. Let me, let me just... Uh, okay. I first had it when I was like in secondary school. Okay. okay. And I didn't know because all along my entire like primary school life and stuff, I sleep well. Peacefully. And most you have nightmare. Right. It's, you know, nightmare is just different. It's from, just nightmare. Yeah. yeah. So when I had my first one, right, I didn't know it's something that you cannot move. Uh. You cannot open your eyes. You know, it's just something like controlling you and stuff. Uh-huh. So I thought when it first happened, right, I was like, I'm a Christian. Right. So I thought it was a spiritual thing. Right. Like, just like, Oh, am I going to be okay? <laughs> Is it because I never go to church? Is that kind of thing? So, I was like, okay, I'll be a good girl. I'll be a good girl. So, I, I, that was, the first time I had, right, it was, it was like, I cried so badly afterwards. I ran to my mom. Standard response, you yeah, cry first. cry first, yeah, because I'm emotional. <laughs> ran to my mom in her room, then I tell her, I'm sorry, so sorry, I'm sorry. So, she to touch me, you know. It's more, it's always the same. Someone tried to, uh like, you can feel someone near you. It's like you, literally in my room. Then I I'm just like tied down to my bed. Uh. Eyes closed, but eyes are open. Like I can see what's going on in right. my head. Yeah. Then uh the funny thing is right, because the, back then my sister was sleeping with me. Yeah. I couldn't see my sister inside. So it was literally just me and the room. So it's still kind of like a dream state. It's, yeah, yeah, I get right. it. But that is that how you sort of realize that it's a sleep paralysis yeah, thing? I didn't know. I had okay. to go and Google. Cannot move. Cannot open your eyes. Uh. What what is it? <laughs> then, uh, oh, yeah. Cannot move. Cannot <laughs> open, open your eyes. eyes. Either you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I dead? Yeah, yeah, so there were so many thoughts going on. Okay. Yeah, so that's when Google told me it was a sleep paralysis. Okay. And I was like, huh? So I thought like, cannot I don't uh, what is this? What is this? So I went to see what what, what what was it about? And then there were like sites from NUH. Yeah. Like, yeah. They wrote like what were the symptoms right. and what were you experienced? like sweating afterwards and stuff. So that was exactly what I felt. Oh. So when my mom knew that I had that, right, she, uh, my mom was a, is a very spiritual person now, so right. she, she prayed for me. So I said like, get better? <laughs> it still happens. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I because think, you never go to church. <laughs> <laughs> that was my, what I thought, you know? so ever since then, I placed a Bible beside me. Uh-huh. Like when I see, but that was a habit since I had like, like very long ago. Okay. It was either on my table beside me, but now it's like directly beside, like <laughs> on my bed, you know. So, but it still doesn't work. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so oh, that means it's better. okay. Now it's better. Oh really? It yeah. Happens, but I I'm actually very proud of myself okay. because whenever it happens, right, I always tell myself it's just an episode. I'll just get over it and then be strong enough. Like, of course, every uh-huh. single scene is so different. Really? I, I see things that, like, I see shadows. Okay. I it's, it's just so so many episodes that I. So I, what do the shadows do? Do they, they do a distinct they thing? They just around you. They just like... Yeah, yeah, like, like they just want to play around This sounds you. freaky, man. This it, sounds it is freaky. freaky because... But to be honest, right, if you think that mine is freaky, I've heard people who... Okay, not like... Not like everyone has it. Right. Yeah, so whenever I have a friend who talks to me like, oh, actually, Gwen, I have a very bad sleep paralysis. That's right. When we, that's when I know that people with sleep paralysis can relate to each other very well. Uh-huh. Because I, that's when I knew also that I, I, mine is not very extreme. 
what, what's seen... what's an extreme example? Tell me. Oh, I, I know nothing. Really. Okay, uh there's one that she he oh he Okay, I started the she first. Okay. She, her one was like, um, there was this water thing that her mom believes that um, once the water finishes in the water, means there's a spirit there. And, and stuff right. Like. Okay, some people see it, as, see it as a spiritual thing. Right. So she was being tied down and she was forced to look only at the, the jar, like the water, uh-huh. go fini- uh, like went all the way oh, down. Oh, it keep going down. Yeah, and so it finished. So it's like hallucinating. Yeah, it's like you, do, you, you just... Okay. And she, the thing is, we all had the same symptoms by literally your arms are all like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, it so felt like like that. Like yeah, like that. But actually, when we woke up, right, it's always like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like your your eyes, you cannot you cannot move. Like, you just but but you know that your eyes aren't open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get That's it. That's so strange. Because we know it's because right when we wake up, we open our eyes. Oh. You get it. If not, we will already be like like like. Right. Uh, like so that so it's for yeah. real that you're not looking at anything. Yeah. And that's also that, that does it did it help you like figure it out that actually it's like. Eh, we believe in I would say for me right I, I will go and research more about it yeah. there are people who actually consult doctors right right because it's a sleep um, disorder, disorder. Mm-hmm. yeah so uh, and there are a lot of times where we discuss right it's always like it happens two minutes or one uh-huh. it's like I thought it was so long but when I woke up I look at my my phone uh-huh. huh, three minutes so are you I, I, will you say that you are very aware when it happens now yeah so, are you able to like... Sometimes I even are know Are you like, able to have fun with it, you know? Oh. Uh, like, choo choo choo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? Sometimes I get scared. Sometimes I, 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 I mean, if, I, if it happens to me maybe like 10 times, right? Okay. The 10th time I'll be like, alright. Uh, yeah. Alright. I'm like, oh, choo choo choo. I want to shoot lasers. <laughs> okay, as in now, now I'm... Okay, sometimes it's like, a before bit, I sleep, yeah. I will tell, I, I'll tell myself, wow, it's been very long since I had sleep paralysis. Uh-huh. And then I'll, I'll say like, if it comes, then I'll just be, okay, like, right I, now, I know my I'm stronger in a way. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it doesn't come often anymore. Ever since then, yeah, mm. I always it's always like because maybe a part of me believes in science. Maybe yeah, it's uh, spiritual also. Right, yeah. right. So to me, it's like when it happens, I'll pray. I'll pray also. Yeah. Just in case, right? Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Buy insurance is not because you want to get yeah, the insurance. Yes, in yes, case, yes, oh yes. no! <laughs> right. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I feel you. I yeah. feel you. <laughs> so so it, it just it just became it became better, lor. Right. Yeah, right. There are times where I so I so. There are scenes where like it's quite bad. Like I see uh my someone carrying a baby, the shadow. Uh-huh. Like very distinctly carrying. Carrying a baby. It was so obvious. Right. Yeah, and Damn. I could see the baby very very clearly. The baby you happy or not? No, I was crying for help. Oh. And but the thing, you know what's the worst thing? That you cannot move. Right. And cannot help. Damn. You were forced like to watch that scene. Professor X. Ah, what? what like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like some <laughs> some X-Men power, man. Dream yeah, surfing. So, uh, yeah, but in general, this is, this is sleep paralysis. So you just cannot move and stuff. Damn. But science say that it's because of things that you do before you sleep. Like what? You eat before you sleep. Damn, I've had too much supper. Yeah, eat before you sleep. Or it's something like your brain, your mind is working. But... Actually, I, can't really I, I I think I know the science behind it, but yeah, like, yeah. but like, I've never heard of it being like a like, like what the triggers are. So I'm oh, not too okay, sure. Okay. okay, then just like you were saying that you had a that there's a he story. Ah so. uh, yeah. Okay, okay. The he one was quite bad. What like, happened? He he couldn't move, but he was brought up, like he was literally brought up. So he only can like li- someone oh, was moving up. him. Yeah. Then there was this devil looking thing, just running around him. Like just running, running and making you know like, hee 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 like oh man yeah so so that was that sweet. is freaky as well like, no I cannot oh, if I would if that I thought was, you like horror yeah, yes I like <laughs> I like to watch I like the story like but right. if this really happens to me right I I don't think mine is really bad like I just I just don't know how to imagine how wow, like, it's not like no chills yeah yeah that's why that's why people think that mine is very extreme right I I feel like there are people who are experiencing worse ah. Uh. Actually, I think I, if if you met, if you okay, you know what? I don't know, I don't know, but I think when I was a kid, I had some sleep paralysis. I don't think it was sleep paralysis okay. because I don't I don't re- remember the experience mm. too vividly anymore. But I do remember do remember being like, like like caught in a dreamlike state, cannot okay. scream, cannot mm-hmm. like cannot do anything, right? Mm-hmm. And then like there were there was this shadow that was standing at my door, mm-hmm. and then like like it happened quite a few like quite a few times, and then like every time it happened, the shadow seemed to come a little bit closer. And then it freaked me out so much as a kid, mm-hmm. you know. So like till now, I haven't really. I, I'm not able to explain it, but maybe you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Why I had you want to experience it now? Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, okay, it, it's been so long. I mean, okay. I, it would be more than 10 years if I do experience it again. Uh, if it happens multiple times, mm-hmm. I will be ready to choo choo choo. The first time it happens, I'll be like, oh shit. Uh, my then, life. Yeah, the second time is like, no. Oh, later time is like, oh, okay. The fourth time is like, all right. Actually, that was me, though, to be really? honest. Because it keeps happening that I got so tired of it. Like, to me, it's like, you're not tired. Like, yeah. like I'm just talking to whoever who is, you know, what? Yeah. If you believe it spiritually, I'll be like, yeah, yeah. the devil, you're not tired. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but if it's like more science thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I'll just talk to my body. You're not tired. Oh, right. I, 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 I challenge you to try it. Next time, next time if you do encounter, you try to you try to lucid dream or something like that. I cannot. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't wish to try it. Why? Yeah, I, I, I don't want. Lucid don't dreaming want. is like, like you become I know, I know, Superman. I, I, and I'm like, woo! <laughs> no la, I would totally I, I try I, it. <laughs> I, I'll just leave it as it is. Okay. You know, you know, sometimes it's so bad that I when I sleep over at a friend's house, right? It happens. Right. And then, I don't know how... It's this when I wake up, right? I'm just myself. Like, I didn't know that my that friends are all... Yeah. yeah. Like, how am I supposed to tell them? You know? Tell them, ah. Uh. No, but they know. Those people who know me, mm. they know that I sleep paralysis. Just that I wouldn't want to wake them up, like... Oh, I hate paralysis, you know? <laughs> it's so... No, it's, <laughs> I'm so used to it where I just... I just wake up, maybe drink a bit of water. Yeah. Uh, pray a bit, and I'll just go back to sleep. Yeah. Like, my mom knows that I don't run to her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's when she knows... Oh, okay. She can <laughs> She herself. got this. Yeah, <laughs> she got this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sleep paralysis. Damn. Okay, I, I, I don't know anything about this, so thanks for shedding some light on it. Next question. Okay, next question is a little bit about, you know, uh, I would say... Uh, I, would you say that you're a very uh, adventurous person? I am. <laughs> yeah, do you I like am. the outdoors? Yes. Really? This yes. is news to me. I don't know why? about you. I don't know. I play sports. That's why. I, I, and I, what sports? Okay, and uh, netball. I used to play netball for right. six years. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I was a dancer also. So uh-huh. I, I'm someone who's very active. Right. But I can be non-active also. Like, I, I can be adventurous. Dry swimming? What? Oh, my job. Okay, <laughs> my job is as active, <laughs> <It's> adventurous. <Right. laughs> okay, as it, aside from that, I, I I can just sleep at home, do nothing and stuff. You know, there are days where you just want to know. Uh, right. But there are times where I I also want to go out. I don't mind going out alone. I don't mind hiking alone. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hiking. Since you brought up that point, right? The question why, is, why, why? what about hiking that draws you to it? I love hike. Oh, firstly, I hike at places where there are wildlife. <laughs> Where, okay, my dad okay. used to bring me because I really love like wildlife a lot, right? Yeah. Since young, so my dad knew that there was this um Sungai Bolo Reservoir. Right. I don't know whether you're heard of Sungai it. Sungai Bolo Wetland Reserve. Yes. Yeah. Whoa! Last time I right, back then when I was young, crocodiles just walk across you like, f- just free and easy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mon- big monitor lizards you just crawl everywhere. <laughs> Last time I was I was just like, Daddy. The kind of thing. So my dad is someone who. It's very naughty. So last time he would just tell me he's gonna swing me into the pool, into oh, the, no. the, the those like reservoir. Yeah. And I would, last time I would cry. I would say, no, 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 no. <laughs> Then my dad is all like, okay, let's just go there and touch them, that kind of thing. <laughs> so I think because of my dad, who is very adventurous, right? I became more like right. adventurous also. Yeah. So I think because and when I go hiking with my friends now, yeah. right, they they're very scared of going with me. Because, because like, I'm someone who let's say I see monkeys <laughs> I see reptiles I'll like go near and like okay not so near but I'll examine them yeah, yeah, I'll say yeah. like wow oh, that's the that's the shell that they need I'll say, that's the spike and then, you know that kind of thing <laughs> and when I see monkey I'll read their behaviour yeah, yeah, yeah. my friends are like Gwen please don't go near them <laughs> you know that kind of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so so I think they got really scared that I, be- I was so adventurous that, right like oh man I cannot go we are not like your level <laughs> <laughs> yeah Okay, so do you go? Do you go uh hiking alone? I have. Or do you usually actually, go with friends? Yeah, because most of the time my friends say they want to go, so right. so I just like, oh, why not just come along? So mostly, mostly around Singapore. I yeah, would say. yeah, yeah. What yeah. are some of the tracks or trails that you go to? Oh, actually, I've been to a lot already. Like almost, almost all. Like, yeah. mostly all. Yeah. Or... I we I went there again and again. Like I will go and visit again and again. Which is your favorite? Wow. Mm, I still like Sungai Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve because it's it's my childhood thing. Right. I, I'm just very sad now that they actually lock up a lot of things already. Oh, is it? Yeah, they 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 don't really see crocodiles anymore yeah. anymore because I think for safety. Reason, yeah, for safety reasons. Right. I understand. Have yeah. you been to the Kranji Marshes? Then I believe I mentioned actually, this just now. I'm not too sure whether I've been there. Maybe when I was young. Yeah. yeah so my, so my so Kranji Marshes is another one of those like end parks kind of thing that has become like okay. a reserve. Okay. Animals. Uh, people still have signboards there that say beware of crocodiles. Okay. So. Go check that out. I'll be there. <laughs> You'll see my Insta story so. 
Okay, if you go, please show me. I also want to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we come to another segment, which uh, are Instagram questions about ah. you. Yeah, so towards the end already, don't worry, and you all drink your <laughs> drink your pink color liquid and. Uh, Keep popping, eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's some quick fire questions. Yeah, mm. you try to answer them maybe in uh, one sentence or less. Wow. Okay, first question by someone called the Short Dawn. Is there any way to join the TSL company without any <laughs> relevant experience? Okay, John should reply that. No. <laughs> Why? You are, you are the existing... I'm, I'm just the host here, so I'm just telling you. No, but from... you're the existing member of TSL. You're the existing employer of TSL. So, I uh, cannot answer that. <laughs> I would say yes, but Gwen would say... John would answer No! <laughs> okay, okay, I would say yes. Uh, just finish your portfolio, have fun with it. Yes. Uh, we like fun people. Okay, RT. RT. <laughs> Next question from... Uh, okay, I'm going to try to read this because I think the username is cool but act too long. What? Sporadic... Sporadic cupcake... Sporadic cupcake mentality, I guess. Okay. Seriously. You single or attached? Ah. <laughs> I am single. <laughs> oh, single as in ready to pringle or is it single? I am single but I would say unavailable. But that's my choice. Uh, oh. that, that's my choice. Oh, okay. Because Not because there's I, a man. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I have to clarify. Not because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not because I have a man. But okay. It's, it's more like I'm not ready to be in a relationship. Not ready to yeah. be in a relationship. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly, mm-hmm. uh, perfectly normal answer. Next, from Baby Seki, is your real name Gwendolyn? <laughs> uh, no, my name is just Gwen. Just Gwen. I have yep. friends who call me Gwendolyn. Damn. Yeah, because... I don't are they know friends why. or are they acquaintances? Uh, friends and acquaintances. <laughs> No, because right, yeah. I don't know why, but people see it as like, you are, like all the time when I go for appointments, right. are you just Gwen or are you Gwendolyn? Or is Gwen your short form? Form or, for something. Yeah, so I, I don't know like why do people see it that way. I, I feel very sad because my name is just Gwen. That's true. You get it? Yeah, people always ask me also, is your name Jonathan? I'm like, bruh, oh, Jonathan's oh. want to be yeah. like me. <laughs> You know, but I don't want to be J-O-H-N. like the Jonathan. Yeah, oh, right. And then, oh, then people will butcher my name and take away the H. Okay. Okay. Weird. Chestnut. Chest on. What's your O level's Chinese grade? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> bad is what? Oh, it's bad. Eh. I, th- I think I got a low. Oh, was it a, a D or something? I can't remember. Damn. Yeah, I, my Chinese all along, it was quite, it was quite bad. Okay. Yeah. But I'm your a spoken rebel, Chinese, like. is that okay? Can ask where's the toilet? Can ask where's the toilet? Very okay, good. Okay. Well, that is, Essential stuff, I can. Okay, good. Next one is from uh, Sum Sum Po. Uh, favorite country to travel to? Favorite country to travel to? Uh, Africa? Africa is not a country! Ah! <laughs> Africa is not a country. That's like saying I want to go to Asia. Uh, yeah, no, okay, okay. Uh, South Africa. <laughs> South Africa. That okay, is South a country. Africa. Okay. Um, India. India, okay. Anyway, this question is countries that I... To One travel to favorite country to travel to favorite, but the thing is, I've never been there. Never been there. I, I want to visit. Okay, yeah. okay, um, same. South Africa, India, and I. Uh, wow, very hard. Eh. So many countries I want to go to. <laughs> so there's no one favorite. Yeah, there's no like one favorite. All right, all right, good answer. Mm. Uh, next question. Please recommend Singaporean singers. <laughs> oh shit Okay to be honest I'm not I'm not into Like local singers So uh, Yeah I know I'm horrible As a local person But <laughs> Yeah yeah I just I just don't Actually listen to I listen to Okay Suzari Oh Suzari yeah, Okay so uh, from uh, Singapore it, Idol fame y- Yes Okay Wait wait As in um, I need to listen to one of his song It's you it's you yeah, from Sasari. Yeah, yeah. Producer is throwing a lot of thumbs up yeah, behind the camera. Yeah, I, I can see you. Because <laughs> I saw this action going on. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this is the song that I... Uh, it's actually in my playlist. Right. For a local sing- uh, Like among all the singers that are well known, right. you know, overseas singers. Yeah, oh, man. Sasari. And, okay, maybe, I don't know, Gentle Bones? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Next question from Ch- Fire Cheese number two. Can I date you? <laughs> 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 Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 the street for me would say no, <laughs> as in because I don't know you. Okay. You know? Yeah, but if 
if I know you and if I get like, you know, in person, then maybe yes, there's a chance. Okay, the next question is by Claire CTN. Okay, that's actually our ebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you recognize the handle, but if your father and boyfriend swap bodies, who will you have sex with? None. That's <laughs> <laughs> just weird. But I mean if you had to. If, if you my, had to choose your father, father and your and boyfriend swapped bodies. So that means your boyfriend and your father's body, your father and your boyfriend's body. Who will you have sex with? Boyfriend la. <laughs> Which means your dad's. Dad's body la. But it's so <laughs> No, no, no. Why must you make me answer this kind of question? <laughs> okay, okay. Next question. Next question, right? Is by uh, uh, Gerard Jensen Tan. Uh, <gasps> how come you every day go siam tiu? <laughs> Hey, you know you know him right. <laughs> <laughs> it's our ex, like one of uh John's ex creative in TSL. Yeah. Uh, why I always go Sam Tiu? Yeah. Because firstly, I like to drink. Right. Um. Secondly, I have a lot of friends who go Sam Tiu, <laughs> and I have no choice, right? You know, like when your friends say tonight. Siam Tiu, let's go! You know, like, hey, tonight be public. Then I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, okay. I, I mean, I don't mind lah. Sometimes the Siam Tiu music is We cool. public is a wretched, but okay. I mean, okay. I did not say anything. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, sock go, sock got ho. What's your height? What? 154. 154. I'm short. Damn, that's kind of small. I'm small. Next one from Sammy WF. How do you handle breakup? How do I ha- handle breakups? Wow. One sentence, blitz answer. One Bzzz. sentence. Cry. Uh, cry. <laughs> and, um, keep myself occupied. Ah, that's a good answer. Okay, okay. Next from uh, Choo Choo Trains. What's your greatest regret? Wow. What a question. Good questions, yeah? Yeah, no. Wow, pretty good questions, what? It's, you know, it's just like... Makes you think. This is a HTHT yeah, it question. Really makes me think a lot. What's my biggest regret? I guess you would be losing friends in my good friends uh, last time. Because of? Just like naturally drift apart. Right. Um, if I would say the major, like the main reason why we couldn't like meet up anymore or like actually talk is because um, religion. Ah. Yeah. Wait, okay. okay. Maybe I just say, I would say, we are, okay, we are Christians. But? But because I choose to move out of that church. Oh, okay. Yeah. So because by virtue of not being in the same community anymore, you're drifted. Mm. Normal, normal. Uh, so sometimes... Uh, yeah. It's sad because she, she, she's like my childhood friend also. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Next question by uh, Raw K-A-X. How many times a week you eat Domino's? Eat <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay, no. But it's not a weekly thing, you know. <laughs> but I have to admit that Every week, I think about eating it. Like, I'll be like, should I order? I don't know. or Genki? Ah, no! <laughs> no, no, no. This is so tough. <laughs> this is harder than thinking about the regret thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna cry. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Let's cheers to that. Let's cheers to that. Let me just think, you know, like, Domino's like... <laughs> Cannot. This if someone helped you at gunpoint and asked you to choose, I have to choose one. Uh, yeah. Die, die. Uh. Yeah. I'm sorry, Domino's. <laughs> you heard that, Domino's people? Oh my god, yeah! she has betrayed. Oh, I'm so, I feel so bad. <laughs> Next is by this person called Zhao Feng. I have no idea who he is, but his question is very unique. I believe you will understand. It says Barbs of Fred. <laughs> okay, she is my friend. <laughs> and he's asking, asking me to choose between like. Another two friends. Yes. Uh, so, Barbs of Fred. Bubs. Who's, who's Fred? <laughs> it's him, that guy. He's Fred? <laughs> yeah. So he's Fred Salfong. Like... Fred Salfong, you heard that first. You heard it over here. Bubs over you. No, it's because I'm closer to my other friend. That's why, exactly <laughs> what I said. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next. Uh, HS Quack asks, what's your favourite pair of shoes? Favourite pair of shoes? Ah. Uh-huh. Ah? Uh, why would someone ask that? Um, oh, you don't wear shoes? I, I, I do. Okay. Uh, favourite pair would be my dog mats. Your dog mats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember I those. Which you always wear with yeah. a dress. Hey, that's right. Yeah, I know you. I know your yep. pattern. Uh, Keith Poa asks, why are you so chill? I state my... Um, to the last question, no. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. Same thing. Um, uh, what, 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 what's the... I state my... 
no. <laughs> Why are you so chill? Why such a bond? Damn. My mom. Damn. My mom. Okay. Okay. Uh, favorite lipsticks and blusher. Favorite lipstick would be Dior. The Dior lipstick. I think I mentioned it quite a lot on my Insta story. Before. Right. Um, favorite blusher. Yeah. Nyx. What? Why? A Y X. N Y X. N Y X. Nyx or something. I have no idea what John that is. John doesn't know. Anything. I don't put makeup, as you can see. <laughs> I just rock the ugly look all the way. Last question by thoughts. What annoys you the most? What annoys me the most? Yeah. When people... Ha, so many things annoys me. <laughs> Looking at John annoys me. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Is this what we're going to do today? We're going to no! fight? <laughs> okay. Um, when people don't respect their parents. Mm. I would say that's the top one. I wanted to say animals. But I realised like... Sometimes to me, uh, you know, Sujian Sang to you, Mama Papa Hao. Oh, oh, I'm gonna put the tissue ah, worker, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. So, we have come to the end of today's HCHD with Gwen. So, yeah. uh, any final words you wanna say to our audience? Okay, uh, final words. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I had fun. Initially, I was like really scared when I came here and saw this setting. Yeah. I was like, huh, aren't we gonna sit on the sofa and chill? <laughs> no, we're not. And then there's like something two mics here and stuff. Yeah, but I had fun answering the questions. I even cried. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I think it's great. Yeah, thank you so much for coming today and joining us. My name is John. This is Gwen once again. Uh, HTHT, hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, like, share, subscribe and watch our videos over there.